Hi and welcome to another training session. In this video I will show you how to install Joomla on your web server. In our, my previous videos I installed the web server and we will be using it to support Joomla. So we go and find the download for Joomla first of all. Let me click download. Let's download the current version. And we actually want to copy the files into our web server root. waiting for it there it downloaded as a zip file and I'll just copy every file and folder and actually I want to create a folder in my root to support all the Joomla files. Unless you wanted your root uh, localhost to be the Joomla website, uh, then you'll definitely want a subfolder. Quite a bit of files. It's uh, it's pretty big. I'm also having trouble with the disk um, utilization in this virtual machine. Let me go ahead and pause while this uh, while this all copies over, and then I'll continue. The download has finished and you can see the files that were copied. Let's go into that folder in our web browser. Remember it was localhost and then that subfolder Joomla and it will automatically take us to an installation. So here is the installation of Joomla and we specify our site name You can specify a description and an email as well. Dot C. Obviously, I'm choosing a fake one. And you want your administrator username. Uh, that's going to be your super user for your entire site. Uh, basically, the super user just has access to everything. And we'll set the password. And you want to, uh, whether or not you want it to be offline or online, go ahead and uh, say offline when you're first setting it up. And we hit next. All right, now uh, we need a database for the Joomla system to work. It is a content management system. So now we need our username and our password if I remember what it was no I, I don't I could find out uh, looking at the other site that I put together but I'm just gonna guess for now maybe that's what it is in our database name we need to make one uh, in one of my previous videos I s set up MySQL and I showed you how to set up PHP my admin to be able to manage your database. Uh, you could also use MySQL Workbench. Uh, so basically we're going to create the database in here. Uh, 
uh, no, that's the wrong thing. Cancel that. So go into databases and type in a new database. Let's call this one Joomla. Uh, we don't need to create any tables because the installer will do that for us. So now we have our database name. The table prefix is uh, so that you could have multiple websites under the same database. So this particular Joomla installation will use this prefix. And if there is an old database in there, then you want to back it up or remove it. And that's your choice. And uh, for new, for, for beginners, and just for starting out, you might choose to install sample data. Like choose whichever one you want, look at the descriptions of what they mean and what they do and I'm just going to choose the blog English. You, If you want to send your email configuration to a, the particular email address you can and now it's just uh, showing you overall the settings that you have. So as you can see Installing Joomla is fairly straightforward, but I thought at least it would give you an idea before you went ahead and did it of what the experience is like. You will need a, a web server with Apache as the web server, of course, uh, PHP, and uh, MySQL, the database server. Of course, you don't you don't need Apache per se. You can use the IIS that Microsoft provides, um, but you'll still need PHP and a database server, MySQL. And you you can see previous videos uh, on how to install those items if you'd like. And we want to remove the installation folder, so we're we're done. And we want to remove it so that hackers and you know just people just generally don't stumble upon it. And you want to either go to your uh, this is this will be your site, and you could also go to the administrator area. So this is the the front end of your site right now. Uh, it comes with a basic template, but let's go to the administrator area of Joomla. Uh, so that's it, and we input the username and password we set up for the admin. Uh, you can choose. Yes or no to save. Now we are in the back end of Joomla. Uh, this is where you control your entire website. If you want to change settings, you go to the system, then you go to global configuration. You can specify your offline message because the website is offline right now. No, no, there it is. It's offline. It's it's going to be offline now, and we'll go look at it and see what that looks like. So the front end is localhost Joomla. So now it's here. The site is down for maintenance. Uh, so you have to log in if you want to view it. Uh, this side is down for maintenance, and that's where your message goes. Um, I won't go through all the settings in here. There, there's quite a bit, and I'm guessing that if you've even stumbled upon this video, you're somewhat technical, um, so you shouldn't have any problem sifting through a lot of these settings. Um, the cache is very useful. Server settings, uh, you can choose your mail options. Let's move that over a little bit right over here your FTP uh, proxy it's not something I've ever used but it's there now you you'll want to choose templates and you could you could stay with the default template of course uh, they come with default templates uh, Joomla comes with uh, administrator templates and site templates so you could choose templates for the back end as well as the front end of your website and these are the defaults, but you could also search Google or, or Bing if you prefer Bing or any other search engine and just type in Joomla templates and you'll find a bunch of them. 
and you might even want free templates or there are plenty of free templates but you, there are also professional templates you can pay for and uh, this video isn't about education about uh, Joomla and what it is and how it works it was just about installation and configuration uh, th these are the basics of installing Joomla on your web server and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments or if you like this video like it or if you didn't uh, think it was helpful then just you know leave thumbs down uh, that that'd be okay otherwise uh, feel free to leave comments here's your system information again under system and you can see what we're dealing with uh, we installed PHP 7 in a previous video anyway I'm not going to continue talking so uh, that's it for this for this video